Welcome back, folks. This is Mr. Bob and John again with another review. This time we're going to give you the Jack in the Box barbecue double cheeseburger. I sure hope it's the right one because it says fish on top. I'm getting a little concerned. Well, it is getting harder to get good help these days. No, it looks right. It looks right. First thing I notice is a plain bun. Not as common these days. You seem to get the seated buns a lot. Careful with that, John. We know how you are. Oh, there's going to be a little extra sauce on this burger, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, that's not sauce, my friend. The sauce boss, they called me. It was blood. <laughs> so there you get a little bit of a cross section. You got some of the bread in the way here. You know what? I think I'm gonna call in some extra help over here, light it up a little bit. There you go. As you can see, there's definitely meat. There's so this is supposed to be consisted of two beef patties, cheese, crispy bacon, and crunchy onion rings, and some barbecue sauce. Now, I don't know if you can uh, see over here, but there's one beef patty. There's two beef patties. Those are about the most slender little beef patties I've seen. The onion ring, the single onion ring, is as thick as both beef patties together. Definitely see the cheese, the barbecue sauce. I don't see the bacon, but bacon usually likes to hide. So that's what we've got with this, uh, this burger so far. And go ahead and cut this open here. You wanna go first, Mr. Bob? Sure. Hey, easy now. Watch those fingers. <laughs> so, uh, how Mr. Bob eats his burger, a little loudly there. Boy, is he enjoying this one. Um, let me tell you about Jack in the Box. Um, I don't know if you watch our other video, but they were established in, on February 21st, 1951. Their first location was in San Diego, California. Uh, they were, it's interesting because the guy that opened uh, Jack in the Box, that founded it, Robert Oscar Peterson, he had these restaurants already and they were clown themed with painted clown faces all over, which today seems kind of disturbing, but in that time I'm pretty sure clowns were beloved and uh, people were pretty fond of clowns, and so it makes sense. But I, I believe that's also where the clown, where Jack from Jack in the Box was inspired from. He's kind of a clown in a box. They also opened up their, their, their restaurant facility to be oriented specifically towards drive through which was a pretty popular thing in that time. Um, it was kind of new and I think it was all the rage and they decided we're going to take advantage of this and they did and they've been around for a very long time and they're one of the top food chains, uh, fast food chains around here. So I'm trying to find the bacon not exactly seeing bacon in this piece. So we'll see if uh, Mr. Bob over here, I think this might be a piece of bacon. I'm not sure. It looks like it could be. But we'll see if Mr. Bob could taste it over here. He's uh, getting finished up with his burger. These, I do believe, well, in, we theorize that Jack in the Box came out with these to compete with, you know, with Carl Jr.'s Western Bacon Cheeseburgers which have been around for quite a long time. They're a staple, they're quite delicious. And we'll see how these hold up. So Mr. Bob's about ready to uh, let you know how he, how it tasted to him and what he thinks of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and chow down on this piece over here with this possibly bacon additive. All right, let's start with that disassembly completely like he was talking about here. Let's see if we can absolutely find it. All right, well, definitely nothing here. You can see a little bit of sauce. That's probably my biggest first complaint. There wasn't a lot of sauce on it. You know, barbecue sauce is real good. And it's nice to get it. It's a little bit of a sweet sauce. Well, not bad. You can see there it actually was two onion rings, not just one, one inside the other. That is the only vegetable you're going to find on this. Otherwise, this is definitely served. Um, ooh, very sticky. Look at that. The cheese is really holding on. But otherwise, it's... Um, Served carnivore style, if you will, because it's definitely about the meat and cheese, I believe. See, and then we're talking, nope, no bacon hiding under there. So if there is any bacon, I think there was, I think it was very little. It's in here between the cheese. And you can see, I mean, good slice of cheese there. And they got a 
good bit of cheese between them too so we got two slices of cheese yeah overall it's not a bad it's definitely a uh, um, set up for your sorry folks I clean the fingers you know how it is anyway uh, set up as a, as a carnivore burger for sure yeah I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and give it an even keel I wouldn't go there just to get this I would consume it it's food and it's worthwhile not a not that flavorful the plain bun really doesn't help I think something else, a little bit fancier of a bun would help. And a little bit more on the sauce. And the bacon, a little bit lacking. But I mean, overall, if that's what you got, not a bad choice. I know they're definitely trying to compete with, I think, the College Junior, like we were talking about. Not so sure that they're succeeding in that regard. Um, I would go ahead and get a couple of tacos uh, to go with this so that you make sure you're absolutely full because this is, I don't know, just, just not hitting the spot for Mr. Bob. What are your thoughts so far, John? Well, I gotta tell you, the bun, is not very impressive it's like a fluffy bread but it also compacts mostly so it gets kind of squished down it's almost like a, if you ever had a slice of white bread it has almost that consistency so it's not a another kind of bun you really expect on a hamburger i mean it's not bad but it just doesn't give it any it doesn't give it anything it doesn't bring the flavor up it doesn't make the consistency better it's just eh, a bun um, the meat patties, my gosh, those are the thinnest beef patties I've seen, and they really are not juicy. They're pretty, they're almost dry, but they're just very, it's beef, yes, but I, I think almost uh, all burgers are, this is probably some of the least flavorful patties uh, uh, I've had. But, eh, they're okay with the cheese. The cheese kind of brings them a little bit back. Cheese flavor, I definitely tasted that. Onion rings, I definitely tasted that. The barbecue sauce, I agree. It could have used a little bit more barbecue sauce. It definitely was quite a dry burger, or maybe some mayo or anything else in there. Um, didn't detect the bacon at all. There's supposed to be bacon. Maybe they forgot to put bacon on ours, but I didn't taste it, so who knows. Um, these onion rings, there are some pretty good sized onion rings. I have to say, basically, you're getting a burger with barbecue sauce as your dressing, as your only form of dressing, a little light, and onion rings. So you can just basically get any burger, slap some onion rings, a little bit of barbecue sauce on there, and have the equivalent burger here. So I'm gonna say it wasn't displeasing, but I, if I was offered one, yeah, I'd say sure. This is edible, this has a okay flavor. And it's like I'll give it like half a thumbs up because this is it's like in the middle I mean it, it, it was good but not very it's like eh I'd rather select a different burger from their menu frankly so what do you guys think have you tried this uh, this fancy barbecue bacon double cheeseburger have you compared it to the Carl's Jr. Uh, Western bacon cheeseburger this because this has two patties, I'd be tempted to say you should compare it to the double Western bacon cheeseburger, but that might be a stretch. But definitely, this isn't comparing with the double meat patties of Carl's Jr. So, but let us know what you think. Let us know how we did. And uh, so you got like like half a thumbs up uh, total between us, and no thumbs up, a sideways thumbs for Mr. Bob. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, let us know in the comments. Uh, subscribe. Mm -hmm. and ring the bell for notifications. We'll see you in the next one, folks. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Surely it was better than the burger, right? <laughs> see you guys later.